Welcome to the Cinema Gold Show. Your home for all movie, TV, streaming, and other film news from around the industry. Join us as we dive into the latest headlines. Welcome to the Cinema Gold Show. I'm your host, Larry Lease. Today we're continuing our series reviewing Psych. This week we are on Season 7. But before we get into our review, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Poddex, for sponsoring this episode. You can check them out today at poddex.com. Use promo code Larry21. If you're looking for a way to grow your audience and improve your content, you're going to want to use Poddex. Check them out today, poddex.com, promo code Larry21. Now let's get on with the rest of the show. We have finally reached Season 6 of Psych. Some shows run out of steam after 4 or 5 years. But Psych doesn't seem to be having that problem. This comedic mystery is still going as strongly as ever, and fans will love every minute of season six. If you happen to be new to the show, it follows Sean Spencer, the man who was trained by his father, Henry, to be a super observant cop. But Sean is rebellious in his own right, and has spent his life floating from one job to another, until he lands at consulting for the Santa Barbara Police Department. He and his best friend Gus have opened Psych, a private psychic detective agency. Sean turns his observations into visions that he then uses to help the police solve crimes. It's something he's good at, but it's also just enough of a jab at his father to make it acceptable to him. Henry and Gus are the only ones who know he's not really psychic, and they play along with the ruse. Rounding out the cast, we have Chief Vic and the two detectives that Sean usually helps. There's Detective Lassiter who can't stand the fact that the psychic usually solves the case before he does. And then there's Detective Juliet O'Hara, who is finally dating Sean. One reason the show has maintained the humor and comedy is the theme of episodes. Sean goes undercover as a patient in an insane asylum to prove a murder suspect isn't crazy and can't use the insane de- defense. In another episode, Gus finds himself masquerading as a mascot of a baseball team to help them find the killer. Lassiter must reluctantly ask for help when his new apartment building is turning him crazy. All of the Shining. And in the best-themed episode, an antiquity is stolen from a local museum, and the search for it becomes a fun spoof of Raiders of the Lost Ark. The show prides itself on its 80s references and jokes, and those are still in full force here. The show is as much about the comedy as it is the mystery. In fact, sometimes the mystery suffers a bit at the expense of the humor. But I just go along for the ride and enjoy what's there because the show is always entertaining. My complaint about the last three seasons still holds true. Carrie Ells makes its third guest appearance on the show, and again, there's not one Princess Bride joke. But, since it's in the Indiana Jones episode, I'll let it pass this time. Hopefully he'll show up again in an episode filled with them. It shouldn't take Miracle Max to make that happen. In other fun guest stars, we finally meet Juliet's dad played by William Shatner in a couple of episodes. The show has first and foremost been a buddy show, and Sean and Gus's relationship is as strong as ever. I was worried that when Sean and Juliet started dating, it would hurt their dynamic, but it hasn't. There are a couple of episodes that do deal with them directly, like A Weekend Away that turns deadly, and a case from Juliet's past, where Sean is trying to prove she got the wrong person. As always, the acting is wonderful on the show. From what I can tell, the entire cast gets along extremely well. I know James and Dulea have become good friends. It shows on the screen. There's a chemistry that creates pure magic when a cast gets along, and it is here. Whether screaming terror or working in a serious murder, every moment is believable. My only real complaint is the increased presence of Woody, the coroner. I usually find his scenes painful since his character just isn't as funny as everyone else seems to think he is. Having said that, he plays a huge part in Hangover spoof episode, and that episode was very funny. Seasons of the show usually consist of 16 episodes, and season 6 was no exception. Psych has always set out to be just plain fun, and that continues with season 6. If you're a fan, you'll be thrilled with what is here. And if you're looking for a light, funny show, you've found it. Sit back and prepare to laugh. And that is all we have for our review of Psych season 6. Join us next week for season 7. But now, our favorite segment, the pod deck segment. So today's question comes from the movie night deck available on the pod decks app. The question is, which movie have you seen the most? How many times have you seen it? That was actually a tough question, but I'm going to go with Red Dawn, the original. I've probably seen it 15 to 20 times, and then the newest Red Dawn I've probably seen about 
five or six. But hey, let us know on Twitter or on YouTube, which movie have you seen the most and how many times have you seen it? Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find us on Twitter at Cinema Gold Show, Facebook, The Cinema Gold Show, or on Instagram at The Cinema Gold Show. Thanks for watching. And if you want to support the show, um, you can buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash cinemagold. Or you can become a patron a patron by visiting patreon.com slash cinemagold. Where we offer plenty of great rewards for becoming members. Check it out today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. You have been listening to The Cinema Gold Show. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast on all your favorite podcast platforms. As well as... Support the show by buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash cinnamon goals.